What's going on there, YouTube? And welcome back to another comic book video. This is the channel where we sit down and cover different comic book stories from different comic book companies. Today, we're going to jump back over to DC Comics and continue our coverage over DC Dark Knights of Steel and pick up with the third issue of this lovely series written by Tom Taylor. Now, this is the book where basically we lose another character to make the war even worse. But at the same time, we set up the next chapter to tell us the origin of Batman. So it's honestly a pretty good book, once again, by Tom Taylor. So if you like today's comic book video, hit that like button down below and subscribe. But here we go for today's video. So in the opening of the book, we see something crash onto the earth. Of course, this is Tom Taylor bringing the idea of kryptonite to play a role down the road, which is kind of obvious. For this book, is going to start the origin of Batman down the road. Also, this crash was seen by Jimmy Olsen. Of course, the Kryptonite crashes near the Kingdom of the Elves, which is important because when we pick up with the Council of Elves, Batman, Alfred, and Harley Quinn think that they should check it out to see what it is. But also, the Kingdom of El knows about the prophecy that Constantine spoke about in DC Dark Knights of Steel number one. Part of that prophecy talked about something coming from the sky and Batman thinks that it could lead to the end of the earth. Now, Amanda Waller, Lar, the mother of Clark Kent, and Clark Kent want to ignore it and focus on getting ready for the war, thinking that the kingdom's best fighter, which is Batman, should stay there to protect the House of El from the Kingdom of Storm. Except, Laura changes her mind and lets Batman go check out the crash site. Now, the Kingdom of El is not the only one going to check out this crash site, because that is when we see some soldiers that are from the Kingdom of the Storms. Of course, the Kingdom of the Storms belonged to Black Lightning. He was the one who basically started the war by killing Jor-El, the father to both Superman and Zala, because people who have powers have been disappearing because the House of El have been taking those people because at this time, powers are not explained by science. Instead, to them, it is magic. People from Krypton are weak from magic attacks, but getting back into these men from the Kingdom of Storms, Zala, the daughter of Jor-El and sister to Clark Kent, actually kills these men as another response to Black Lightning killing her father, Jor-El. But we jump over to Amazon Island, where we see Lois Lane, who is an informant for Hippolyta, the queen of the Amazons. Lois Lane comes to tell Hippolyta two things. First, that Black Lightning's son died. Word on the street is, it was Zala, which is true. Zala killed Black Lightning's son because Black Lightning killed Jor-El, her father. But before Hippolyta can process that information, well, that is when Lois Lane tells Hippolyta the second thing she wants to know, which is that Black Lightning is here on the island to visit and make a deal. Of course, Everyone is wondering if they are going to kill Hippolyta like they killed Jor-El, but Hippolyta says yes and goes to talk to Black Lightning. Now, this meeting is very important for two things. The first thing that is important is that Hippolyta makes the deal, but before she does, Black Lightning makes his case on why the Amazons in the Kingdom of Storms should work together to take down the Kingdom of the Elves. He brings up the prophecy that Constantine talked about in DC Dark Knights of Steel number one. To Black Lightning, the prophecy must mean the Elves and Zala being so powerful and killing the son of Black Lightning that they are way too powerful and they need to work together to kill the Elves to save the world, which makes Hippolyta agree. But 
makes Wonder Woman angry that her mom agrees to the deal. This is the second thing. We learned in our last video that Wonder Woman was in a relationship with Zala and can't believe her mom would go against her girlfriend's family. So after that meeting, well, you have Lois Lane check up on Wonder Woman and find out that Wonder Woman is going to leave to hopefully find a way to stop the war from happening. Lee's on a Pegasus. Except Wonder Woman is going to be too late the way this story is going because you have Black Lightning and Constantine on their boat on their way back to go home to the Kingdom of Storms, except that is the moment they see Zala. Of course, they are freaking out because they know how powerful Zala is and Black Lightning really doesn't stand a chance against her. Let's not forget that they are trapped in the middle of the ocean as well. So after a few pages where we see Black Lightning and Constantine trying their best to stop Zala, Zala is too quick and she is able to stab Black Lightning and kill him. So now both the kings of the kingdoms are gone, but with Lara, the wife of Jor-El, taking over at the kingdom of El, Black Lightning tells Constantine that Anissa, Black Lightning's daughter, is now the queen of the kingdom of storms, who could continue the war for her father. Finally getting back to Batman and Alfred, who is going to the crash site of the kryptonite, of course, they find the dead bodies of the men who went there for the kingdom of storms. Batman is wondering what in the world had happened to them but when they find a piece of kryptonite well it affects batman because remember we found out that batman is the son of jor-el and martha wayne is still the mother of batman so batman basically collapsed because of kryptonite he is half kryptonian and this is when we learn that alfred knew about the secret too and we are going to learn the origin of Batman in the next story. But this is where we are going to end today's video. So please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoy today's video.